Good happy Friday morning, July 30th, 2021. I'm Riley King. Welcome to this Friday morning edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Friday morning, so let's get started right now. First step, flash flooding in parts of New Hampshire leads to road closures. Police respond to reports of people trapped in homes. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Plymouth Ford is now new car Ford of Plymouth. That's right, Plymouth Ford is now new car. Well, we're coming to you from Leinster. We're on Mountain Road, which is just off of Route 31 North, which we were taking, and we have reached a complete stop. You can see why right here the road is flooded out in this section. We're told that water from a nearby pond and a brook is feeding this area. You may be able to see the emergency crews up on the hill. Closest to us, that is the Washington Fire Department. In front of them, the Leinster Fire Department. Apparently, the road is completely washed out up there. We're stopping at this distance to, to be safe. And I do want to just show you why, because the side of the road is being undermined. These are pieces of pavement that are washed up on the side of the road. And actually, this is the only one I could pick up because the other pieces are so large, they're really heavy. I want to bring in Ryan Topa. He lives nearby. His home is nearby. And Ryan, you were saying it just poured rain, and then you saw the floodwaters coming. Yeah, they came up quick, too. It wasn't long before uh, the road was completely flooded. And we can see this area that uh, you've been warning drivers not to drive through here because of the undermining and the water rushing over it. You've actually been up to the area where the fire trucks are, and what's happening up there? Well, it's actually completely washed out underneath the road. Um, the culvert, I must have plugged or something, and it, uh, the water just completely undermined the road all the way across. So I don't even think, they weren't even willing to walk on it. So. And your neighbor is safe? Yeah, they're safe. Uh, they had a little bit of water in the house, and the car was almost well, quite a bit underwater. But at least they're in, they're on high ground on the property, so. And that's a good place to be tonight, Ryan. Thank you so much. Ryan's been out here with the flashlight, warning cars to stop because he wants to tell them to please slow down and not to cross water-covered roads. We are not doing that. Emergency crews have had to do that tonight. That is the situation with some roads being covered with water, some spots washed out here in the Lempster area. Reporting live in Leinster, Gene Mack in WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. One more Granite Stater dies of COVID-19 as cases continue to rise. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. competitive real estate market, buyers and sellers need the experience and guidance of a realtor more than ever. New Hampshire? Here in New Hampshire, we are seeing new shifts in community transmission tonight. Stratford County now joins Belknap, Merrimack, and Rockingham counties and the cities of Manchester and Nashua with moderate transmission. Carroll County has dropped to minimal levels, joining Coas, Grafton, Sullivan, Cheshire, and Hillsborough counties. The test positivity rate is up tonight to 2.7%. There are 101 new cases of COVID-19. Active cases jumped to 528, the most since May 21st of this year. One new death was reported, and current hospitalizations increased to 26. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. President announces new rules for federal workers. Vaccine initiatives. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9.
At Bell Tate's, customers will find everything they need for a building project. The brand names you trust to perform. And with a fleet of over 50 delivery vehicles, we deliver when and where our customers need them. Bell Tate's Building Products, nine locations throughout New Hampshire and Massachusetts. The Biden administration announced new rules for federal government employees and contractors. Confirm they're vaccinated or get tested one to two times a week, stay socially distant, and wear masks on the job. We need to wear a mask to protect each other and to stop the rapid spread of this virus as we work to get more people vaccinated. The announcement follows the CDC's recommendation to wear masks indoors in COVID hotspots, regardless of vaccination status. The vast majority is occurring in unvaccinated people, but we wanted people who were vaccinated to understand that they could potentially pass this virus. House Republicans say mask recommendations and vaccine requirements for federal workers go too far. The CDC has become a political arm of the administration. It wants to control every element of our life. In a push to get more Americans vaccinated, including children 12 and older, the administration is calling on school districts nationwide to host at least one pop-up vaccination clinic. The government will reimburse employers to give workers time off to get vaccinated or take a family member to get vaccinated. And the president's urging states and local governments to pay people $100 to get their shots, something Governor Sununu calls a gimmick. It's an unserious proposal to a very serious issue that we're working. Uh, The truth really lies in the education, uh, transparency, availability of the vaccine. Gene Mackin, WMUR, News Not. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Biles pulling back from competition shows athletes are humans, mental health experts say. Mental blocks can make performance impossible, experts say. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Golden Corral in Manchester is open and now offers a weekend breakfast buffet. Come on in for a safe, comfortable, customer-friendly experience featuring a delicious, fresh, all-you-can-eat buffet of homemade favorites. Golden Corral at the shops at South Willow in Manchester, the only one for everyone. Simone Biles captivating the sports world this week, first withdrawing from Olympic gymnastics team finals and then from individual all-around competition to focus on mental health. I've just never felt like this going into a competition before and I tried to go out here and have fun and warm up in the back went a little bit better but then once I came out here I was like no mental is not there so I just need to let the girls do it and focus on myself. Back here in New Hampshire psychotherapist Lynn Lyons specializes in anxiety and works with achievement culture. I think sometimes we forget that these are these are human beings generally young human beings that are in a machine that that takes over so many aspects of their lives. Biles recently admitted she got lost in the air during competition, also known as the twisties, the gymnastics version of the yips. Theo Pantelli, a sports psychology consultant with Complete Athlete in Derry, helps those who experience this type of mental block. Bringing awareness to it and really diving deep into it what's happening in those specific moments leading up to the performance and then during the performance to, you know, help them perform with that clear mind, that clear head that all athletes really want. And for those that don't understand why athletes can't just perform when called upon. There's something to be said for listening and keeping your mouth shut and trying to understand somebody else's perspective and recognizing that you really don't know everything that's going on. And Lynn Lyons there says something that can help is parents having regular conversations with their kids about when enough is enough and when something is really worth stepping into and pushing forward. In studio, Jessica Miranda, BMUR News. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Bowers gearing up to run again for U.S. House in September. Announcement is expected. 
Landowski expected to have a prominent role in the campaign. As breakthrough cases increase, is a booster shot needed? Let's take a listen to that video from NBC News. I've seen how cancer can affect the people I care about. That's why I'm helping protect myself against... Today is Israel becomes the first country to announce booster shots for anyone over 60 who was fully vaccinated at least five months ago. Tonight, here at home, renewed debate over if, and more likely when, Americans will need one of their own. No American needs a booster now. But if the science tells us there's a need for boosters, then that's something we'll do. Though Pfizer's own new data, which has not yet been peer-reviewed, shows its vaccine efficacy wanes only slightly after six months, the company suggests a third dose strongly boosts protection from the Delta variant. But for now, the CDC and FDA say there's still not enough evidence for boosters. That guidance expected to change as a troubling number of breakthrough infections are being reported at workplaces, vacation hotspots, and among families. As we hear more about breakthrough cases, is there any concern about the efficacy of vaccines beginning to wane? I think the magic question is when will we need boosters, not if we will need boosters. And it feels like right now with the majority of Americans having been vaccinated at six months or less, now is not the time. With more than 80,000 Americans testing positive for COVID in recent days, within two months, that number of daily infections could quickly balloon to 200,000. Retired doctor Brady Allen, who suffered a breakthrough infection while on vacation, says being vaccinated saved his life. I got severely ill, but I didn't have to go to the hospital. And I'm living here speaking to you. I did not die. But if you're unvaccinated, this virus is so potent. Why risk the chance? Miguel, I realize we're not there yet, but if booster shots get into the picture here, would people be able to get a different vaccine than the one they originally received? Well, Lester, it's a good question, and the answer is unclear. Tests are still underway to see if a booster shot can be mixed and matched with a different kind of vaccine already given. The NIH trial just started in June, and it's going to take several months before we have a definitive answer. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that did it for this morning edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. Goodbye, everyone. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit.